Vega. The Ring Nebula is a little right ways there. away from in Vega the spring, over. The Keeper is found high in the sky, in a great position to help us locate galaxies in the night sky. Some of these galaxies Here. can be seen with binoculars. My dad says that he doesn't telescope. think the Ring Nebula is too far away. I read that it's 2,300 light years away, which seems like a very long bike ride. <laughs> this is not how I see the Ring Nebula. I see it like. This. The Ring Nebula was discovered a long time ago by someone in France. This picture of the Nebula is beautiful. It looks like a precious blue gem in the middle of some red orangey stuff that looks like fire. Dipper is made of seven stars, three in the handle and four in the I read that's because different gases give off different colors. You can see green, yellow, red, and blue. In the end of the handle. Just a nebula is what happens when a star a nice like our sun dies. It lets out its remaining energy and expands, making lots of pretty pieces that one day can become planets. I think it's neat that stars can be so amazing for so long. I wonder what Vega will look like when it dies. That's my tour. I hope you liked it as much as I liked making it. The Hubble telescope produced a beautiful image of this spiral galaxy 22 million light years away. To find another beautiful spiral galaxy, look just below the last star in the dipper's handle. This is M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy, easily seen with binoculars in a dark sky. This lovely spiral galaxy is 37 million light years away. Now we will locate two galaxies locked in violent galactic combat. To find them, draw a diagonal up through the dipper's cup. Now continue the diagonal on past the cup the same distance as the diagonal. Here Bode's galaxy, M81, interacts with M82, the cigar galaxy. This is M81, which is peaceful in appearance. However, M81 causes a great disturbance at the location of M82. M81 causes so many stars to form in its companion that M82 is labeled a starburst galaxy. Images of M82 taken in different wavelengths help scientists to understand the complicated violent interaction there. These two galaxies are 12 million light years away from us. There are many more galaxies to be found near the Big Dipper, but we will end here, just above where the handle and the cup meet. This is where the Hubble Deep Field is located in the sky. In 1995, the Hubble Space Telescope spent 10 days imaging a tiny piece of the sky, one thirty millionth of the sky. The photograph of this tiny piece of sky showed 3,000 galaxies. Some of these galaxies are 12 billion light years away, so we are seeing them as they looked 12 billion years ago. Pretty amazing considering that the Big Bang occurred 13.7 billion years ago. So the next time you are out on a clear night, use the Big Dipper GPS system to guide you to distant galaxies and the piece of sky that contains echoes of the Big Bang. <laughs>